The segments of electric pickup trucks and off-road ride EVs are steadily swelling with new models. All the prejudice about the lack of range and underwhelming all-terrain capabilities are being defied by large batteries, powerful motors and record-breaking performance in absolutely brutal conditions. In this episode, we'll give you a brief recap of the newest EVs within these classes. So, subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the notification bell and enjoy the ride! Edison Future EF1T With Tesla and Rivian being the highest-valued automakers in the US, new EV companies are springing up like mushrooms after rain. The latest newcomer to the party is the California-based Edison Future, backed by the Chinese SPI Energy. The startup's first vehicle is the EF1T pickup with 6.5 or 8 feet bed options. Designed by Kona Design Group, it comes with mean-looking LED headlights, fang-shaped DRLs, power retractable side steps, and sophisticated wing mirrors paired with the corresponding 7-inch cabin screens. The model is presented in three configurations. Single, dual or tri-motor, promising 7,500, 9,000 and 11,000 pounds of towing. The entry-level truck should offer around 300 miles of driving, while the flagship is rated for 450. This pickup also gets a standard solar roof that uses Mosaic technology for continuous recharging. Inside, the vehicle is revealed to have 5 seats and a huge 17.5-inch central infotainment. Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo To dispel any doubts about the off-road potential of Taycan's CUV version, Porsche collaborated with Johnny FPV, a 25-year-old camera artist from Chicago who is recognized as one of the world's greatest drone pilots. The Drive to Extreme short film demonstrates Cross Turismo drifting through an icy course in Lapland town of Laffey, close to the Arctic Circle, and another one located in the Liwa Oasis on the northern edge of the Rub Al Khali Desert. These locations are separated by over 3,000 miles and 60 degrees Celsius. The outstanding feats of all-terrain performance of the Taycan Turbo Cross Turismo are ensured by the dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain that outputs 680 horsepower and has 246 miles of range, ensured by the 93.4 kWh battery pack with the 800V architecture. Unlike the regular Taycan, this cross-utility vehicle brings a spacious boot, some plastic cladding, new wheel mounts, strut supports, air suspension, and 1.2 inches of added clearance for the total of 7 inches. Atlas XT Originally, the Arizona-based startup envisioned XT as a full-size Chevrolet Silverado lookalike with the traditional dimensions and rounded shapes. The actual prototype, however, epitomizes a true heavy-duty work truck with a boxy body, six passengers' capacity, and a bed from 6.5 to 8 feet in length. This pickup rides on the proprietary Atlas Motor Vehicle skateboard platform that can accommodate different body styles and in the future will be licensed to other car makers. Allegedly, their nickel magnesium cobalt battery pack will be offered in three sizes up to 250 kWh. This would give the truck from 300 and up to 500 miles of range. The pack can regain juice in just 15 minutes through a 1.5 megawatt charger. The Atlas XT relies on a 600 horsepower all-wheel drive system with four independent electric motors and a single-speed gearbox per axle. Thus, we're promised 5,000 pounds of payload and up to 35,000 pounds of gooseneck trailering. Ford F-150 Illuminator Already quite successful in the department of EV production, Ford is now bringing electric drivetrain technology into one of their iconic old-school builds. At the 2021 SEMA, the company debuted a 1978 F-150 with a drivetrain from the 2021 Mustang Mach E GT performance. This means either a 68 or an 88 kWh battery and two electric motors that produce 480 horses and 634 pound feet, powering all four wheels. The truck also gets custom Roadster shop chassis and 19 inch forge line wheels wrapped into Michelin Latitude Sport tires. On the inside, it houses a new aluminum dash by JGR Fabrication, avocado tanned leather upholstery, and a modern 15.5 inch touchscreen. 
As you can guess from its concept status, the Illuminator will not be available for purchase. But those customers who want to build their own electric vehicle will be able to separately buy its E-Crate motor, rated for 281 HP and 317 pound-feet. Rivian R1T On November 10, 2021, the Nasdaq Stock Exchange welcomed a new RIVN ticker that represents the Michigan-based automotive startup backed by Amazon and Ford. Immediately after its debut, Rivian's valuation spiked to $100 billion, making it the most valuable American car maker after Tesla and the most successful IPO since Facebook. These numbers hardly coincide with the current production rates of four vehicles a day, but the startup promises to cover the backlog of 50,000 pre-orders by the end of 2023. And the first R1T trucks to reach customers are labeled the Launch Edition. This is the highest spec configuration with a 750 horsepower quad motor all wheel drive, a 135 kilowatt hour battery pack, and 314 miles of range. The overlanding potential is reflected in the 11,000 pounds towing rating, air suspension with 14.9 inches of clearance, 3 feet weighting capability, and a unique gear tunnel. The R1T has vegan leather interior, full glass panoramic roof, 16-inch infotainment, elevation audio system by Meridian, and Rivian Driver Plus with hands-free driving assistance. Gateway Bronco's Ford Bronco EV As you could have guessed it from the name, the specialty of this Illinois company is restoring and modifying of original Ford Bronco SUVs. In this case, the build starts with the first-generation model that gets electrified and transformed into a compact pickup. The six-cylinder engine is replaced by an electric motor that produces 400 horses. The setup is paired with a five-speed manual gearbox from Tremec, four-wheel drive, and recycled Tesla batteries. First, Gateway dismantles them, chooses the best working cells, and reassembles these into smaller packs that are distributed through the body to optimize weight distribution. It is rumored that Bronco's total battery capacity can reach 100 kWh, which would be enough for 300 miles of driving. The cabin of the CV truck is revitalized with new heated and cooled seats, fresh upholstery, and a contemporary multimedia with Apple CarPlay. If you want to see more electric pickup trucks and off-road ready vehicles, make sure to smash the like button. Thanks for your support for the electric revolution, and let's proceed! Extreme E Racing Series Extreme E is the world's first off-roading competition dedicated exclusively to electric vehicles in a quest to promote zero emissions in the fight against climate change. This racing series already features nine international teams, including the ones sponsored by Audi, Apt Cupra, and McLaren. The shared racing platform is called Odyssey 21. This off-roader was designed by Spark Racing Technology in cooperation with Williams Advanced Engineering. The Letcher company sourced a quad-motor powertrain that sends 550 horses and 700 pound-feet of torque to all four wheels. Mounted on a tubular steel alloy frame, the Odyssey ESUV utilizes a double wishbone suspension with 15 inches of travel, Continental supplies 37-inch tires, while high-performance brakes come from Alcon. In 2021, the Season 1 Extreme E Championship has taken place across five global courses, but the scope of the competition will definitely increase in 2022. Candy EV K32 Candy America is a subsidiary of the Chinese Candy Technologies Group that develop affordable electric vehicles alongside Geely. In the US, the Soto Maker has been represented by two neighborhood electric vehicles, K27 and K23. But soon they will be joined by an all-wheel drive off-roader, labeled as a utility terrain vehicle. The Candy EV K32 will be available in two battery sizes, 20 and 50 kWh, which would crunch you a rather underwhelming 60 and 150 miles of range. The motor is quite puny as well, delivering just 28 horsepower and 65 miles per hour speed. With four doors, four seats, and 214 inches in length, this pickup would be classified as a midsize, though do not expect towing or payload capacities to exceed those of a side-by-side. -side. The K32 is equipped with a 10-inch infotainment, backup camera, two airbags, and Bluetooth connectivity. 
Polaris Ranger Electric. This is not the first electric ranger from the famous ATV brand, but according to Polaris, it will be the most powerful, responsive and versatile member of the entire lineup. At this time we have no confirmed specifications for the upcoming model, but numerous testing videos of the prototype demonstrate its outstanding off-road, towing and snowplowing capabilities. The ATV promises to operate in sub-zero temperatures and reduce noise pollution even compared to its electric predecessor. The feature vehicle will also benefit a lot from the company's recent partnership with Zero Motorcycles, incorporating their knowledge and electric drivetrain technology. The official reveal of the Ranger is scheduled to take place in December 2021 and will go on sale as a 2023 model. Venterhal Brawley the first Vanderhall with four wheels is an off-road ride AV that offers 22 inches of suspension travel, can speed through sand tunes, and on a full battery promises up to 200 miles of fun. The top configuration of the Brawley is motivated by four in-wheel motors that can generate a maximum of 404 horses and 480 pound-feet. The battery options include 40 and 60 kWh packs, both with 300V architecture and fast charging capability. The two have lithium-nickel-manganese cobalt cells that are set to handle hot conditions better than regular lithium-ion. The Brawley suspension system is represented by internal bypass shocks, while its 18-inch wheels come wrapped in large 35-inch off-road tires. To stay true to its purpose, the UTV does not offer a highly technological cabin, but still covers all of your basic comfort needs with an AC, Bluetooth sound system, and easy-to-read gauges. Lexus Recreational Off-Highway Vehicle Concept Despite its boring and obvious naming, this is a very unusual vehicle for the luxury-oriented Lexus brand. The dune buggy concept has typical UTV looks, borrows lighting signatures from the Lexus production cars, then rides on huge all-terrain tires. The company does not reveal any suspension or performance details, but we do know that the model is powered by hydrogen combustion engine, so it does not require fuel cell or batteries and operates like a traditional IC car. Lexus says that this technology is perfect for traveling off the beaten path, since it is more suitable for low-speed cruise and is both non-polluting and low-noise. Will you agree that electric trucks and off-roaders are steadily becoming competitive? Which model is your favorite? We'll be waiting for you in the comment section to discuss these matters. Smash the like button and support the electric revolution by subscribing to Automotive Territory. We cover EVs on a regular basis. As always, more informative videos are on the screen. May the torque be with you!